go. Let's go. Let me set this call up. Get this some music going as well. Super happy and excited for this one, guys. You guys have no idea. Check this out. All right, let's go. Well, welcome, 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 everyone. My name is Bastion, for those of you who don't know me. And this is the Beyond Your Beliefs episode 11. Okay. And today's episode is titled, I Am What I Am. Okay. One of my favorite episodes um, from our previous series from last year, this one is more of a replica of that and revising what we did last year as well as um, been touching of what who I am and what I am is to you. Now, guys, before I dive into the lesson, uh, I want you guys to know, I want you guys to know that I am super grateful to be here with you guys tonight. And I always feel like it's such a, a importance to keep an attitude of gratitude. Okay. So we're going to drop it in the chat. Let me pull the chat real quick. I'm going to drop it in the chat. One thing that you guys are grateful for. One thing that you guys are grateful for in the chat. Me personally, I'm grateful to be on this call. Grateful to be here with you guys. And I'm grateful for this giveaway that we're going to do, our first giveaway. Super, super grateful for that. And yeah, I'm grateful for the air that we have today because here in Utah, we have super bad air. But today, I have some beautiful, fresh air. We have some nice walks and we have some nice hikes. We have some nice walks, some, out, some old outdoor time this week. I've, I'm really grateful for that my ability to walk. I'm grateful for my ability to see and spend time with loved ones. I'm, I'm grateful for my ability to, to share some, some quality time with some quality individuals like yourselves. Happy and grateful to be here with my health and be sitting in front of you guys today. I'm happy and grateful to be showing you, sharing these experiences with you guys and uh, happy and grateful for you guys giving me your time. And let's go, let's look at the chat. Happy and grateful. We'll miss you too, bro. Uh, happy and grateful for God. I love that. My mom, grateful for everything, family, food. I'm grateful for to be here, get value from an information. I'm grateful for my health. I love that. Um, I'm grateful to be alive today. I'm grateful for family, friends, ACTG. Let's run it up. ACTG, uh, founding pro funding programs. Yes. Funding programs, hell yes. And another day, I love that. I'm grateful for this exact moment. I love that. Too. I love that. Thank you for sharing, you guys. I really, really appreciate you guys sharing that with us. I mean, like I said, I'm super excited for this one, guys. I mean, I this week has been super powerful. I, I could say the least. This whole month, this whole quarter, fourth quarter, has been insane 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 rally of energy and insane rally of opportunities to to build wealth opportunities to to provide to other individuals this fourth quarter has been tremendous drop some seven sevens in the chat if you've had a good fourth quarter so far drop some seven 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 in the chat if you guys and are excited for what fourth quarter is to bring excited for the new year to start excited for this new energy new opportunities new new beginnings as well Excited for, for the information that we're about to drop today. Let's see. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. So now, guys, the last thing I want to do before I dive in, all right? Last thing I want to do is, you guys already know, I want to set the presence, okay? I want to bring you here to the now, your focus, your energy, your focus and your where your focus goes, your energy will flow, okay? I want you to bring your focus to your to your breathing, okay? Focus to your breathing, all right? Breathe in deep. A lot of us forget to breathe. Expand those lungs. Focus on your breathing. We breathe subconsciously, but how many of us forget to take a deep breath? How many of us forget to, to expand our lungs, to forget about everything else, forget about what's, what you're thinking about, and just remember the now. 
And I, I love that, that about breathing, about focusing on that breathing, on the intake and outtake, on what you, the energy that you intake to your body and the one that you put out is powerful. All right. And so with that, guys, I want to just let everybody know that all my recordings are dropped in the Hancho Mindset um, chat. I'm going to drop it right here in the chat right now. Um. Uh, all my recordings are dropped there. Everything that I use to create these calls. Uh, lately, I have not been dropping too many, too much content, as in um, you tools that I use to to create the calls. Because a lot of these calls, if not, you know, about like ninety percent of the call content has been um, free handwriting, uh, journaling, time that I've spent journaling, reflecting, and just writing these things out that I pour out into these calls, and so. Um, you know, I'm thinking of creating a, a, some notes that I will be starting to drop on the calls, maybe some the notes that I used while I read these, these things to you guys to keep me on track. I will start dropping into the calls. These are all free handwriting that I do. And I want you guys to know that it's an expression of myself to you because I want you guys to know that I love you guys, every single one of you. And I have my love and I want this, this class itself to for you guys to understand what love is and so um number one first thing i want you guys to take notes okay because it's giveaway time and you will need your notes for the giveaway okay you will need your notes to participate in the giveaway okay so one of the things you will need for the giveaway notes okay second thing you will need for this giveaway is follow me on ig okay it's at Hancho Mindset. For those of you who haven't followed me yet, I'm going to drop it in the chat right here. Cool, cool. Sorry, my camera's in the way. Okay. Follow me on IG and tag me on your story, okay, with the biggest takeaway you have had throughout the, this call. It can be a quote, something you understood better about yourself, maybe a breakthrough, a self-realization, something you learned more either about yourselves or, or about any situation that you're in or something that you're going to bring on to the week, whatever it is that you want to tag me in that you can take away from this call. The winner will be announced next week's call. And out, that way it gives everybody time to, to add it to their story, share and just tag me in case you didn't make it to the call and you're watching from the recording um, that will give you guys the, the, the whole week. So next week, will be Sunday the 14th. So that's when the giveaway closes um, at the start of the next call. So with that said, family, I want to see what you guys, your guys' notes. I want to see what you guys took away, a quote, a saying, or anything that you guys will from this, from this one specifically. Cool. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. So I am what I am. Okay. And one second, I'm going to play some music in the background. That way you guys have one sec and let me know if the music gets too loud okay let me know in the chat if the music gets too loud cool now okay so these next few episodes we will be speaking more on the two most powerful words okay i am who is the great i am drop it in the chat if you know you know to some of us that may be god some of us that may be the universe, the divine entity, I am is the creator in you. For whatever you put after those words will be so. Your words mix with your beliefs and emotions, okay? Your words mix with your beliefs blend to become your reality. What you, what you speak into existence with emotions and belief is what your life will become. See, I love this topic a lot because this is where a lot of my self-realization came into play. This is where I became more aware of the words that I used that I would use on a daily basis because more con becoming more conscious about you know, about gossip, about other individuals talking about other individuals, right? How about how much time you spend talking about somebody else, right? How much time you don't spend talking about yourself or reflecting on yourself and your emotions, right? And so I started to really realize, like, wow, like, not just myself, that I used to spend a lot of time talking about others instead of growing myself. I spent a lot of time 
you know, around other people that would talk about other people, around those individuals that would just spend more time talking about the past memories, right? Because it's you no know, bad people that that talk about gossip. It's good people that talk about them good memories, but it's great people that will choose to talk about ideas about. Uh, about perspective right and so that really opened my mind that really changed my perspective on what I would allow to come into my mind I recall times realizing about negative self-talk I had and thus bringing me to the ability to change the aspects of myself as I became more aware of them because I noticed that after after something negative would happen in my life after something would come across I'd always you know just kind of talk down a little bit I'd always just be a little bit too hard on myself, you know? My, one of my great friends told me that you're your hardest critic. And I took that to heart because, I mean, honestly, that really hit me because it's true. You're like, you do, you do expect the most from yourself, right? You expect a lot from you. You expect a lot from yourself. And so I, I remember I always expect so highly of myself. And I, when I wouldn't get that results that I wanted, I'd speak down to myself and I recall like I said, so many times that I do that and uh, I slowly became more aware of them because I knew, I started to know who I am, right? I started to understand who I am, who it is that I am. I started to look more within. I started to know that myself a lot more and refuse to talk down on myself, refuse to let my, my own emotions be the the reaction to my external world and i refuse to allow my emotions to be to direct the reaction that i had to my external world and so i like i said i was it was at this point in my life that i can honestly say a big shift in my paradigm happened so when i still became more aware of who i am the average individual is down on themselves after faced with failure finishing their self-confidence as a great, as the great Jim Rohn said, guys, one of my favorite, favorite mentors, one of my top, top favorite mentors, as the great Jim Rohn said once, everything affects everything. If you feel less confidence and bring that type of energy into your, to your skill set, bring that type of energy into your passion, bring that energy into your home. They will give you the same energy 10 times fold. When you put that type of energy into your life, life will return that energy right back to you 10 times fold. The reality of it is, is that wealth is energy. A home, a status, or an experience are all energy. We experience here without what we feel strongly within. Because the energy you put out will be received again 10 times fold so what energy are you building within ask yourself that today what energy are you building within what energy are you building at home what energy are you bringing home because the energy that you bring home is all that you are not all that you can get it's all that you can become right and I want you guys to understand that it's not without, it's within. It's all about what you can become. The energy you bring to your home, into your life, into your skill set is what you have become this far. So let me tell you guys this. If you have not found success in your journey, if you have not found the success you wanted yet, it's probably because you haven't gone. And a lot of you follow me on IG already and heard me say this quote, shared it. You must, if you want to take your business one step further, you must go, you must first go three steps deeper. And I really love that quote, learning from, from a monk. Um, and he was just speaking, you know, letting us know that all success is found within, first found within all realities are first created within because it's the I am in you. The creator that you of your reality lies within your energy. It lies within your level of energy, within your, your beliefs. 
within your daily rituals, okay? Within your daily rituals, with how you speak to others and with how you speak to yourself. And with that, guys, bring it back. I want to make sure everybody's with me. Remember, your energy is what creates all this without, all this experience. Your energy was creating your experience, is what's going to create your experience this week. Your energy is what's going to create, is what's going to create everything that you're going to think about, speak about, be about. Your energy is what creates the now. And so where is your energy? Is your energy, is, or is the energy that you have in your daily rituals, your daily habits, do they match your successful self? Do they match where you want to go? Is that energy the one that you want to bring into the future? Is the energy you have now efficient enough to get you to where you want to be? And if the answer is anything but yes, there's a big change you need to do in your life now, today. A big change that you need to do making your life today, a big shift. So here, instead of using the words, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do it. Replace it with, I am committed to learn how to do it. No matter how hard I am committed to learn how to do it. So instead of saying, oh, I always procrastinate, I never get anything done. Hey, I'm going to get the job done, done to find, I'm going to get the job done to find something that matters to me more than anything. Instead of saying, I am a failure, I, I, I man, I fucked up again. Say, I failed, I've learned the lesson. And when I become a huge success, those failures are going to make it one hell of a story. Because no matter how hard you fall, your success is so much bigger than any of that put together. I promise you. So instead of those failures that are going to make you know, all those failures, make them one hell of a story. Leverage them. Leverage them today. Leverage them to be the reason why you will not turn back to that reality. Why you will not go back to being the same way that you were yesterday. Why tomorrow and today are going to be better. Why today is going to be improved by tomorrow, right? And so what I want you guys to understand and what I want you guys to take from this is replace the, I have, I have to get this done. I have to become profitable. Hey, I get to get this done and experience the process of being an entrepreneur, a business owner, wealthy and successful. Replace God with, I get to do these things in my life. I get to wake up early. I get to go get the job done. I get to go to my job and earn my wealth while I get to build my passion into my income and into an income. And I get to do all these things because I've created every circumstance in my life. And th therefore, I render no power to my external world. Therefore, I am the one in control. I am behind the wheel because I choose not to render my power, my I am, the creator in me, to any external circumstance because I've created everything in here. I've created everything that I felt in here. I've created everything in my external world. I am in control of everything that happens to me. Therefore, I take the will. I do not render my power to the external world. No one's in control but me. I am behind the wheel. I choose my own destination or the world will choose it for me. And that is why I let no path unfulfilled go without a lesson or something to gain. All of your failures have a lesson behind them. All failures have an equal or greater advantage. Get that. All failures have an equal or greater advantage, showing us that it isn't just about winning, winning, winning. 
there's no advantage in winning other than to just keep doing the same thing that you that got you there but there is advantage a great advantage in failing because now you know what not to do now you can take so many more steps forward because you had to stay take those steps back you had to know yourself right and so i want you guys you know to truly say say that what truly has been has meaning to you say it with your passion speak it into existence and take persistent persistent energy towards it daily energy build daily habits around your words around what you say do not let your words go meaningless because it is your words that create the your external world it is your words that that react to the external world to what happens out in your external world so do not let, allow your words to go without meaning say something in me put energy behind it put value behind your words right behind your daily energy build daily habits around these words don't toss your energy at just anyone who may come towards you right close your cl close your time choose your time wisely no one knows how much time our hourglass has no one knows how much time our hourglasses have to so live every fucking day like today is your last chance to get it done work every chance you got like this is the last chance to get it right this is the last week that you're gonna have it this time this is the last chance you're gonna get this opportunity don't allow another day to go unfulfilled unloved you would love today love for yourself love for your energy love for your why there are only two directions you can choose and those decisions are either based from fear or based from love. You will either speak love into your inner, inner world or move in fear of the unknown, of the unspoken. How can you build, okay? How can you build a two creations? How can you build a reality you've yet to have created in the mind? Remember this, there are two creations. First, there's the creation in the mind, okay? The creative self. We create everything in our lives, in our minds first. Everything that we experience out here, we have created it in our heads first. Now, everything, and I want you guys to really take that one away. Everything that you experience out here in your physical world, you have lived it in your mind first. It was first created in the mind. So there's two creations. The first one, the one that happens in the mind, in the creative self, and the one that happens in our external world that we speak into existence, that we love into our lives. So with that family, I ask each of you to speak more love into your lives, into your affirmations, into yourselves. Love is, is, love is the great I am that I am. And so who am I? Am I my name? Am I my body? Well, we are spiritual creatures and we have a, we have a consciousness, right? And we live in physical bodies. But because most of us lack the understanding of, of self-awareness, lack an understanding of ourselves, we get stuck just in the physical world and just our physical bodies, our physical selves. So understand what shapes us. Other than conditioning, when we were babies, we were all conditioned to believe the way we do. All we can do is act like those around us. If our environment conditioned us to learn four or five languages, we would have learned them without any trouble. You can do anything that your environment builds you and conditions you to do. Just as you are conditioning, when, when, just as we were conditioned when we were kids, you can condition yourself to moving towards a greater self. It all starts with the words you say to yourself, being true to yourself, being true to the now, and whatever you speak, you mean. 
and you add value behind it. You add action behind it. You do not just say something and not follow it through. You do not just say something, and not put action and emotion behind what you say. Because if you speak without an emotion, without an intention, your words become powerless. You drop power from your own words and they become meaningless to you and therefore they become meaningless to the external world. So if your words do not mean much to you, then start putting power behind them. Put intention behind your words, action behind it, right? Just as you condition, just like we were conditioned when we were kids, guys. We were conditioned to work this way with our environment with the people around us. So who's around you now? What does your environment look like today? Is it in the environment that a successful you can grow in? Is your environment holding you back? Are your individuals holding you back? Right? You see, because just as you're conditioned when we were kids, you can condition yourself moving forwards towards your greater self. It all starts with words that you say to yourself, because I am what I am. And that identity you set for yourself is built day after day, word after word, decision after decision, failure after failure, and success after success. Affirm yourself with power. Allow your true selves to be, to create, to enjoy. Love what you do now. Who cares if it isn't what you want to do? Love what you do now. Be passionate about what you do now. Go be the best at what you are. I'm not saying go be better than anybody else. Just be best you that you can be. Fuck with everybody else. It's all about you. It's all about you. Go out there and be the best that you can be at what you are doing and love it now. Regardless of the circumstances, regardless of your current results, love what you do now and you will attract more of that love. Love where you are now. Love your home now. It may not be your dream home, but it's protecting you. It's got a roof over your head. It's got love in your home and keeping air in your lungs and, and food in your stomach, right? Love your place now. Feel more abundant. Feel more of the abundance within you. Every day and every way, treat others how you'd speak to yourself. How you would like to be loved and appreciated. So not just the universe, but show yourself. Not the universe, not everybody, not your neighbor, not your sister, not your mom, but show yourself that you are loved that you are success and everything in it, and everything in you is coming in divine timing because there is no doubt there's no doubt in your heart and beliefs because there it will be no doubt in yourself on what you're doing because you love what you do you, you don't know where you you may not exactly know where you're going but you know where you want to be you know where you want to feel Move towards that. Move with love towards that. Don't hate what you do now. You'll attract more of it. When you're passionate about something, you attract more of it. But when you love what you do now, you attract more of that passion. You attract more of what you do. You attract more of what you feel. So if you feel like you love to trade, if you feel like you love success, if you feel like you love wealth, then attract more of that love towards it. You got to move with love towards it from where you are at now. Where you are at now, because that will move you with love towards what you have, what you want, what you desire, what you want to create. We love where you're at now. Feel more of the abundance within you every day in every way. Okay? How you would love, would like to be loved or appreciated. Okay? Show yourself that. Prove it to yourself, not just your neighbor, not just the universe, but to you, because you are love. Okay? And you, that is the creator in you. That is the God in you. That's what God really is. That is God's true, uh, true, true self is love. So what is true love, right? Is knowing that everything is coming in divine timing. It's trusting in yourself okay? more than you trust 
on the decision that you that on the business that you're building more than you trust you trust your neighbor more than you trust the external world more than you you trust external circumstances love and trust yourself more put all bets on you invest in no one but yourself that is the best investment the truest love that there is love what you do now love where you're at now feel more abundant i'm telling you guys but do it for you you are love you are success and everything that is coming is coming for you in a divine timing and accept that trust that trust in yourself trust in yourself don't regret a moment of this journey because you didn't come this far just to talk shit on yourself you didn't come this far to to talk negatively about yourself after one bad decision because that decision does not does not and will never define you your results will never represent who you are you will represent who you are you your essence your existence your energy represents who you are not what you have not your material things not what you look like it's the energy that you put out when you walk into a room and somebody notices your presence because of the person and the great magnitude and abundance that you have within. That's the energy that you are. Those are the, the results that you are. Those are the emotions that you are. That is your truest self. That's what represents you. It's who you're becoming. Not what you're attracting is who you are becoming. Who you become attracts everything else, attracts the success, attracts the more love, attracts individuals, attracts the network, attracts the business, the wealth, this focus. It's the love and belief in yourself, the investment in you. Because you represent you, not your material things. Your material life does not, and your physical body does not represent you. Your energy represents you. Your existence, your essence, what you do represents you. You will represent you, your being, you. It's all about you. The universe, this life, all, all it's all for you to grow in love, to expand your love. To, it is to expand your being, your essence, your knowing. How to know how to love yourself more, how to become more of what you are. So this week, when you wake up for the markets, when you wake up for your business, when you wake up for your kids, when you get wake up for your partner next to you, for when you wake up, just remember, wake up for yourself. When you stay up late for your business, remember, staying up for yourself, fighting for you, fighting for a better you, to become a better you, a stronger you. A wiser you, a more loving you. Because at the end of the day, you can't take care of anybody else if you don't handle you. If you don't know you. Remember, you've created you and will continue to create you. Because love is what you are. Forget the fear, forget the ifs. Forget the buts, forget the hows, just know why and survive anyhow. Your why is you. Do it for you because you deserve better. You deserve it. You are worthy of all of this. Every single one of you. All 22 of us on this call are worthy of it. Thank you so much, guys. Like I said, tag me in your post, guys. Share a quote that you guys got from this from this call. Share anything that you may value, that you may have gained from yourself. It's a realization, something that you learn new about you. Okay. I want you guys to go go from here and, and, and go and and win. Win for you. Win so that you can take all of all of those around you to the next level. The 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 price for the giveaway, guys, I know I haven't announced it, but the price for the giveaway is a two hour one on one session with myself. Um, this two hour one on one session, we can cover trading psychology, we can cover self psychology, we can cover, you know, um, trading plan, risk management, 
Um, a lot of individuals have been asking about my liquidity game. We can definitely cover that in two hours and, and so much more. And I want to be able to give this value to, you know, to someone and provide this one on one session for somebody that was ready to take their business to the next level, is ready to elevate themselves and become more of their what they want to be, become more who they are. So tag me on your post guys share one thing that you've learned from this class and i want to see you guys on the next session i want to see the winner on the next session i want to see you guys on the post and we'll do a raffle we'll do a, um we'll completely completely randomize who gets the one the one-on-one -on -one. but i appreciate every single one of you i love every single one of you and i hope that you guys gain value from these calls i hope that you guys gain value from what from you from you this week this is you time this is the time for you this is the time for you to gain from you you to gain for you and you to gain from you because you are becoming more than you are each and every single day and each and every single way much love family i appreciate you guys and take care all right Bye.